This video is sponsored by Best No Copyright Music. I'm often asked where it is I get the music that I include in my videos. The answer to that question is Best No Copyright Music. Whether you need music for your own creative needs, your own videos, or you just want to vibe out to some of the best tunes on the web, Best No Copyright Music, link to their channel is in the description. Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a very good early, very early meteorological fall here and hope you enjoyed your summer. I've got an unboxing and hands-on for you today of the Samsung flap leather cover for the Galaxy Z Flip 4. I have this in black and let's get right to it. You see it's very plain branding here. On the front, it says flap leather cover, Galaxy Z Flip 4 has a picture of the cover you got and the color you got and has Samsung branding at the bottom. On either side here, it says flap leather cover. On the bottom, nothing. And on the top, nothing. Now on the back, you've got some information here in different languages. And this cover could easily be kind of torn open or ripped open, or you can use a boxing knife if you wanna keep the box neat and just slice it open at the seals. Or you can see, despite my clipped nails, uh, you can just easily use your nails for this as well. I demonstrated this for the silicone cover. And out of the box, you've got a pretty thick booklet here with information, again, in a bunch of different languages. File that off to the side. And it packed into this cardboard here, you have your leather flap case and it has a uh, kind of a metallic little I guess aluminum strip to it here just to add a, a nice touch there I guess that would match well if you've got the graphite uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. I have a bespoke edition white on white on gold so take a look at this case you've got Samsung branding at the bottom kind of stamped in there debossed a little bit and you've got a cutout for the cover display, of course. You've got one for the camera flash. As I take this out of here, not sure what those stains are about. The inside of the cover looks to be fine, anyway. So, um, continuing the tour of this, you've got nothing on this side as far as cutouts. On this side, your volume rocker will be covered by this button, which can't tell if it's a metal or a plastic. If it's a plastic, it's definitely designed to look like metal. You've got a cutout here for the power button, which is also your fingerprint sensor. On the inside, you've kind of have a soft felt material here, which is really nice. And the same thing on the uh, top half of that cover there. It says made in China at the bottom. We've got a couple of sort of packing stickers here to peel. And let's get this on our Z Flip 4. So I'll start with the top here. Should be pretty straightforward. And let's do it on the bottom as well. Of course, you can put this on with the phone closed as well. Doesn't really matter. And See how this is closed. Do I have this on correctly? I believe I do. And this is how it looks. Your leather flap cover for the Z Flip 4. Nice, elegant. Personally, personally, I prefer without the flap, just so you can get a good look at that polished hinge and that Samsung branding, especially in this nice gold color. But it does offer a little bit more protection this way. So you see the cutout there for the flash. You see the cutout for the cover screen. And it leaves the lenses nice and clear for any photos. Don't have to worry about any obstruction, of course. And on the closed side, you see the cutout for the microphone on the top. You see cutouts for the microphones on the bottom, cutout for the USB-C port, and a cutout for the speaker grill. So let's open this back up here take a look here's how it looks 
with it opened, you see that leather cover all across the edges of the phone. Let's take a look at uh, how it looks on the sides while it's opened. You see the cutout for the power button and the fingerprint sensor, your volume rocker here. The buttons are nice and clicky, working just fine. And on this side, of course, no cutouts. Again, the top, the back, again on the bottom. Now, the lip is, I don't even know if you can call it a lip, but it is ever so slightly raised. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. It is raised a little bit. I don't know if I'd say it offers good protection on that front. However, you can place the phone face down and it will be making contact with the case, not with the face of the phone, not with the display. So you can do that if for some reason you needed access to the phone unflipped and wanted to put it down real quick. But I would probably do it gently, especially given how sensitive the display is compared to traditional non-folding displays. So you can do that. There is a bit of a lip, but it doesn't offer the strongest protection that way. And the leather itself, sometimes I get questions about this. Is it completely flat? Is it textured? It's somewhere in between. It's not the most textured leather, but there is a bit of texture. You can feel it and you can see it. I suspect if you use this a lot and daily, this will get sort of worn down and smoothed over time. Just your typical uh, normal leather aging. But um, yeah, so there is a little bit of texture. I wouldn't call this slippery. Certainly the phone is more slippery without the case. Um, so it does offer a little bit of grip. That leather flap is the same material as the cover itself. Again, here's how it looks with this uh, metallic little holder there for the flap. And one last thing to uh, test here, wireless charging. Should work pretty well, for sure, with it folded. So let's see that first. There it is, wireless charging, working perfectly with the phone folded. And as you see there, next to that 48%, that battery icon there has that little lightning symbol showing you that it is charging. Now with the silicone cover, we had some issues charging it unflipped wirelessly. We'll see if we uh, have any of the same issues with the leather cover. And there you see it is not charging wirelessly. If I raise it a little bit here, still not charging wirelessly. If I put it down here instead, still not charging wirelessly. So you're gonna have to fiddle with it. It's not going to be seamless. If you have it unfolded, trying to charge this wirelessly, you could have some, some issues. You have to, you're gonna have to make sure there's direct contact being made, especially with the bottom half uh, of the phone. But again, if it is closed, you've got no issues whatsoever with wireless charging. So that's it, everyone. This is the flap leather cover for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. I will leave links in the description if you'd like to pick one of these up, as well as a link to pick up the Z Flip 4 itself. Um, if you found this watch and watch strap interesting, I'll leave a link for this as well. This is just a, a Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 classic that I'm wearing. Let me know if you're picking one of these up and if you've got any questions, let me know as well. Take care everyone. I'll see you in the next one.